All right, Luke, two things I'm going to talk about about the second video. One, it's ironic that you would say that if there's a problem with, with not wanting to live on landlocked roads, that you would just move to some place. What if you need to use that road to move? But more I wanted to talk, that's sort of a gotcha, but more I want to talk about not at length, but just real quickly. Why would somebody not let you pass on their road? Well, not all roads are equal. Roads go to places. You may have discovered gold somewhere, used the road, and then afterwards the private property owner realizes that that's actually their gold. They can control that resource. It's called a choke point. And businesses love to find choke points. And that's the point about that I have talking about infrastructure. Some goods are infrastructural and they're made into commodities is what happens. And those are the ones that have markets. There's a commodities market for commodities because what we've done is we, you know, we rate the beef, we rate the oil, we rate the grain. We understand exactly a, a very clean, careful, technical categorization of these commodity type goods. And then we create a free market. And it's so that everything's fungible, everything can be traded. But not everything is like that in life. Some infrastructure, when it comes to space, as I've been telling you, space and time is trickier than that. If I have the one road into the mountain, there might not be another road. There might not be another place to build a road, you know. And if one person has that road, knowing that even if another road could be built, that it's going to take years, then they have access to a choke point. And of course they'll use it. And you've given them every permission in your market anarchy to tell them not only can they do that, but that it's morally fine for them because it's not violent if all they're doing is controlling their property. You know, I say property rights come from human rights. And a lot of the, the uh, free market type anarchists seem to say, no, we're going to get all our rights out of property. Well, you can't get human rights out of property rights. You can get property rights out of human rights. So which one's more fundamental? Human rights, including the, the right to egress. It is immoral in this culture or any culture and any system, whatever is legal or not, to allow people to become landlocked. Uh, based on some principle of freedom to say, well, you can be landlocked because we're giving you so much freedom that actually we've given your neighbors the freedom to landlock you. And why wouldn't a bunch of neighbors on land that doesn't have a valuable resource, what, why wouldn't they um, charge the sky's the limit to let you to that resource? Why not? They should, they could, that's the way they would get the most profit. There would be no limit. They could charge whatever you would pay and they could have you over the barrel, so to speak. And um, it seems naive to not admit that because this has happened many times. This is business 101. That is what businesses are trying to do. They would love to have the choke point. And there's lots of little monopolies like having the only private road that goes somewhere um, you know, you know, important. I think it's better to have a public infrastructure. Now, if somebody wants to build a private road because they can do better and it's worth paying for, fine. And those that find themselves stuck with somebody trying to screw them over can use the public road system. Seems fair enough to me. We, um, we need things that we can rely on. And no, you cannot rely on private industry. Uh, people that can change the rules and... Um, you need a better guarantee than that.